Hey guys, it's Ola here. Today I wanted to invite you to come here and watch me edit this beautiful photo of this beautiful baby that I have to deliver to my client today because that's what she chose as her favorite. So, um, let's, let's go. Uh, I just want to explain that uh, the reason why I actually wanted to record this video is because I know that this image is not the best per se because I actually forgot my flash and the pictures were taken for local mommy group in a small educational, um, not center, but like a building where they tutor kids, right? So the lighting wasn't the best, it wasn't the best. There was a, like a yellow ceiling, a few lamps on the ceiling and a window that was like quite far away and I couldn't really um, set up near the window because there was like a desk and everything. So the lighting is not the best and I wanted to show you that even if you do not have the best lighting or the best uh, opportunity to take a picture you can still make it look very very nice okay so let's start over and create a layer mask I already so not layer mask and um, let's duplicate the layer I already did that um, you see this original this is exactly the same I didn't do anything yet uh, so first I always duplicate the layer and then I like to work on whatever needs to be covered up. Okay, so in this example, I have to cover uh, places where the backdrop was sticking out a bit too much. Uh, so the baby decided that <laughs> she wanted to come all the way to the edge of the backdrop. And then she started like scooping all of it together. So that's why we can see uh, the edges of Kate sweep. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, select this and remove it. I will be removing some wrinkles, however, not this here at the front because I actually like how they look. I think it's kind of cute and adds to the texture. So I will try to minimize this one. So first I will try and see if I can remove it with the generative tool. And if I cannot, I will use my own technique to do it. Okay, so I just don't want the dark things here. So let's wait and see what Photoshop will do with it. Oh, I didn't press the button. <laughs> and after this is done, I will also go over the photo and try to remove any like dust particles. I think there might be some um, mommy's hair on the on the on the backdrop so i will try go go and remove okay that's actually pretty decent all right i'm happy with that um so i will go and join this let's see yes this is going to be way easier to work with than the original ver original version so i'll just go here and try to remove the hair and this little dust here and some stuff on the jeans it's not that you know it's not that bad but i like my pictures to be like super super um detailed ed edited with attention to detail <laughs> sorry um things you say when english is not your first language right okay so i will try to use um this tool which is also an AI tool, healing brush tool. Uh, not this one. This one. Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, How is it called? Spot healing brush. Is it? No, not this one. What am I talking about? This one. Yeah, remove tool. <laughs> okay. Um, so this one usually takes a little bit longer at the beginning and maybe because it is scanning scanning the whole image or something i don't know but like after that it's going to be fast so um this one is going to take a little bit longer um but after that it will be fast so i like to use this one because i don't have to really worry about like what to sample and things like that it's just super super easy so boom that took care of this little white spot and now i'll just select the hair oops all right okay it's a bit longer but okay it's fine um perfect look look how beautifully it filled out the details okay so then i'm going to take this one 
here and here um, and then I'll just go over the photo and look if there's anything else that has to be done this here I am not sure I think that could have been mommy's hand so I will try to color match it afterwards that shouldn't be hard and it should only take a few seconds okay so I also do it on the face because um, sometimes you know babies have some eye boogies and whatnot <laughs> a bit of saliva so it's always good to go and um, check it and remove if it has to be okay oops that was unintentional but didn't do much okay so and zoom out okay i'm happy with that um let's see okay beautiful so now i will work on frequency separation i'm not going to do the full frequency separation on this video because i would like to make it a bit faster so i'm going to use a preset and i think i have a video of uh, I have a video on how to make your own frequency separation uh, preset, so you can check it out on my channel. But for now, I'll just use this preset uh, to save time. Okay. I'm gonna make it bigger, and I usually like to draw on opacity 40%. And I like to go over the cheeks twice to make them a little bit softer than the rest of the face. Okay. So if you think about this, um, the whole face is on opacity 40%, but the cheeks are on 80. And just like, uh, I just like it this way. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to join these together and now I'll work on the eyes, 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 so eyes and eyes enhancement um, action is nothing more than some contrast and brightness so you can do it yourself as well but I just like to save time for this video okay so it, you see it adds this more like pop to the eyes right it's not too much it's just right um, okay you see even though I didn't have um, light with me I still got some catch light and I think that's from the singing lights <laughs> it's okay it it, um, it adds to the photo okay so we have that okay so now let's um, let's work on this color here and to do that i will create a new layer and then i will choose color make my brush big 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 sample some blue color and just paint over don't worry if it's like too much which actually it's not <laughs> i'm gonna uh, change the opacity to 30 to just kind of blend it in okay that actually worked pretty well. I thought it would be too much on 100%, but that worked very well. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah, so let's join these together again. And now, before I take it back to Lightroom, I will make the background a bit softer and so soften the. Uh, the creases <laughs> on the backdrop so again I will create a new layer so I just copy this and I'll try oh oh 10% not 100 <laughs> Okay, let's take some of the purple. Okay. Right. Now I can 
customer these two. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness, it's so slow today. Merge these two, and I will again take the lasso and select this. Then shift to add more. This because all these dark um, shadows <laughs> they make the background look creased, so I don't want them here. Okay, this is nice here. This is nice, nice, nice. This is beautiful. Okay, it's just these guys here. It might be, maybe this one as well. Okay. So I don't have to type any prompt because by default it's going to remove. again yeah that looks way smoother beautiful okay um, so now I think I don't have to go back to Lightroom yet um, no I will okay so I am done in Photoshop I'm going to save it and it's going to take it back to Lightroom open Lightroom because I have it on the other screen that's not been recorded so I'll just like bring it here yeah, that's the other image that I was supposed to work on but I think I'll keep it short and just I'll just keep this um, one image for this video <laughs> okay so this is I think it's saving yeah, it's still saving 99%. Oops, almost there, almost saved. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's 10 p.m. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, that's our before. That's our after. I really like how it turned out. Okay, so I already made a little preset <laughs> based on the other image that I was doing, but I'll just apply this and tell you what I did. Wait one sec. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, of course, presets don't work the same on the same photo, right? So, this one worked on the other photo that I did, but of course, not on this one. This is way too bright, so I will just bring it down. Not the contrast G. Okay. I'll bring it down. Hello. Okay. And then I'll bring the highlights down. Okay, you know what? I actually don't think this preset is working very well for this photo, so I'll just do it myself. Okay, so I think that the face is too yellow, so I'll add a bit blue. And it's not really gonna matter with the background because the background is already blue, so that's fine. I think that looks more toned right now. I would like to add a bit of contrast. Bump the shadows up. Okay, but that needs exposure down. Okay, that looks more like a studio photo. <laughs> okay, so here. Um, highlights a bit, maybe not really, it's okay. And then I would like to add um, vibrance. I like my pictures to be vibrant. So, I don't know, maybe not saturation, just vibrant. And what I also like to do in not all but many of my images is to reduce the yellows. Okay, I don't think I like to have too much yellow in my photos. Yeah, 
so I'll just bring it a bit down and maybe orange a little bit too so let's see before and after mm -hmm. that is already way better and yeah sharpening and luminance so because I took this photo without the flash I had to compensate with the ISO it's not that high it's only at 640 and I am shooting with Canon R6 so the ISO threshold is quite high and the tolerance is quite high however I don't really like um, <laughs> how this noise is looking here so I will add a bit of sharpening and you can see how much worse it makes it look right so I like what luminance does with my photos it makes it like very soft and dreamy and like mm, smooth okay so before and after okay and I think I can see some chromatic aberration around the eyes so I could definitely get that away yeah you see the thing is gone so before and you can see how there's purple um, here near the eyes I mean <laughs> near the pupils and then after okay and what else I think that's mostly it. Um, yeah, I don't think I will not do anything here. Maybe just a little, a little bit. Let's see, before, after. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so now that we can compare what we started with and what we ended up with it's really nice i really like it i hope the mama will be happy too um yeah yeah i like it okay so that wraps this video up <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new and i hope that it helped you somehow <laughs> in some way if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and leave a like thank you so much bye